Lord McLennan. Could you um, tell us um, what you thought of today's seminar? I thought it was a useful discussion by people who were viewing the subject from quite a number of different angles and different experience backgrounds, parliamentarians, academics, judges, and um, I think uh, th they emphasised important angles, the uh, knowledge of what has happened in constitutional reform over the last 20, 30 years has um, filtered through to uh, many different people, but uh, the general public is not so aware of how it comes about and I think the thought that we have to be more systematic about it and more deliberate uh, and recognise what we're doing uh, came out of this conference rather well. And what would you um, what would you suggest might be the next step in this process? How would you address well, the problems? Well, we're certainly going to have big constitutional issues facing the country over the next two years, including the question of whether Britain will break up, which could hardly be a more fundamental question. Um, and so I suspect that there will be more of a focus on this, uh, a public focus too, I hope. Um, really there are three things that are required. One is to define what is constitutional and what has to be done about it. The second is to engage with the public and get the feed in from the people who will be affected by it and not necessarily addressed it. And thirdly, there is the process in Parliament where Parliament will have to uh, review what has been said and thought about and then and what the executive is proposing and then decide. And do you think that to address the problem we need to make a, a formal distinction between constitutional legislation and other legislation? Or is that something to be decided at a later stage? Well, I think constitutional legislation or, or the parts of legislation which are, are constitutional are intended to be um, longer lasting, intended to be um, systemic, uh, intended to affect the way decisions are made in various other aspects of public administration. And consequently they are very important and I do think it makes sense to seek to highlight those and to engage the public in consideration of these issues. And I don't think that should be rushed in any case. And um, I, I, and it does need careful, considered deliberation to decide uh, and to, to, to highlight these issues and to bring them forward for, the, for discussion and debate. And I think the, um, uh, there are a number of possible ways in which that could be done, but it must be at arm's length from the executive because the executive all, always has uh, the interests of promoting their own power, at least at the back of their minds, and quite often at the front. So I, 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 th I think we've got some further thinking to do about this, but I think a number of ideas were floated today which were certainly worthwhile considering.